viewers, you are welcome to Midday Program coming to you from SNN Television. And I pray that as you join us in this prayer, as you join us in this program, that your life, God, is going to visit you. I don't know what is your expectation. I don't know what you're expecting God to do in your life. I want to tell you that God is ever faithful. Shall we pray? You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I we put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all the matters. You are all the matters. How we make room for two, you and I, Jesus, you are all the mothers, you are all the mothers, you are all the mothers. Father, we want to bless you once again because you are God. We want to thank you, Lord, for another day like this in our life. We want to thank you, O oh God, because you are God that liveth and reigneth forever. We want to thank you, Lord, because from the beginning to this very day, men have been changing, but you have not changed. And that is why, oh God, you have kept us to see this day in good health. Many are in the mortuary. Many, Lord, have died. But here we are to hear you, to listen to you, and to call upon you in prayer. I pray, Father, Lord, oh God, that your presence will be visible. Lord, in all that we are going to do, may you come and take preeminence. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayer. You are welcome once again to the midday prayer. And I pray that as you follow us, the Lord will strengthen you and answer your prayer. Today is another section. And the topic before us here, we'll be looking at a topic that says... Born to rule. We are born to rule. And our text is taken from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But you are a choosing generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praise of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The Bible said that I am a choosing generation. You are a choosing generation. You are lineage where you are coming from. You are not born to lose. You are born to rule. You are born to win. You are generation. You have been choosing for success. Your generation have been choosing to make exploits. You are a choosing generation, a royal priesthood. You are a priest, 
before God. God has made you a priest. You are not just an ordinary person. He has made you a priest, a peculiar person. He said, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praise of him that has called you out of darkness. You was once in darkness. You was once in condemnation. But God has brought you out of darkness and have taken you to a place of rulership. And that is why you expected to rule. Jesus has paid the price for us on the cross and have given us the power to rule. The Bible said again in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. He said, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping things that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his image. In the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them. May the Lord bless his word in our life. God has reminded those of whom we are. We are not just created the way other things were created. We are not just made the other way things were made. The Bible said in verse, chapter 1 verse 1 that in the beginning the earth was without form and was void and formless. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. He separated everything. He made everything by a spoken word. But when it comes to time of creating man, God said, let us make man in our image. It shows that man is special. It shows that man has a great potential. It shows that God, man, God has made man to look like him. Shall we look at the scripture, Psalm chapter 8, verse 4. Psalm chapter 8, verse 4. And the Bible says, What is man that thou art mindful of him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angel, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. God was so mindful of man, when it was time to make man, he said, come, let us make man. He, there's expectation and his, his purpose is for man to take charge. And that is why God said that you are a peculiar person, that you are a choosing generation. I don't know the situation that is challenging you. I don't know the things that will be questioning your sonship in Christ Jesus. I don't know the situation that will be challenging your faith, but I want to remind you that you are bigger than that. God has made you to be on top. He said he corrected us in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 that he made us in his image and he said have dominion over the fish of the sea and over everything that creepeth upon the earth. There is no situation that is greater than man. God has given man dominion over everything here on earth and he has placed man to be in charge. Brethren I want to tell you that God God has given you power over everything. There is nothing here on earth. There is no situation that God cannot handle. And if God can handle that situation, you can overcome it. Because you have been created and made in the image of God. After the likeness of God. And Job having the understanding of whom he is in God. The Bible said that Go cry unto God and say, God, if a man die, shall he live again? Having the understanding of whom he is in Christ Jesus. He said, God, I will wait till my change to come because I know my Redeemer liveth. I want to tell you this morning that you are born to rule, you are not born to lose. To your Redeemer liveth, whatever be the challenges. Well, I don't know that thing that is challenging your faith. I don't know that thing that is questioning. 
questioning your relationship with God. I don't know that thing that makes you less human. I don't know that thing that reduces you in your own way. But I want to tell you that whom you are in Christ Jesus, you are born to rule, you are born to take charge. You are born to take over everything that is around you. That sickness cannot be a barrier. That marriage cannot be a barrier. That childlessness cannot be a barrier. Because God has made you in his image. God was not barren in any way. God was not unfruitful in any way. And for that purpose, you are born to rule. And for that purpose, you are born to take over. For that reason, you are born to fulfill destiny. And I pray for you that God will give you the grace to take charge. And God will give you the grace to rule over everything around you. In the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. Child of God, join me as we pray. Say, O oh Lord, my Father, every power covering my glory, every power covering whom I am in Christ Jesus, Today I come against you in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray. There are things that the enemy have used to cover people's glory. That make people not to recognize whom they are in Christ Jesus. The Bible says that white men slept, the enemy came and so tags. I don't know what the enemy has sowed in your life. That makes you to look less than whom God has made you to be. I want you to know that you are born to rule. You are not born to lose. Begin to talk to God. Say, God, every clothe every garment that is covering whom I am in you. Today, let it be removed. Let it be destroyed. Let him be scattered in the name of Jesus. Talk to God. Talk to God. His ear is not too deep to hear you. He can hear you. The Bible says that once have I called and twice have he answered. Begin to talk to God. The Bible says that whatever he hear or say, whatever he hear you say, that shall he do unto you. I don't know if if you are comfortable the way you are. I don't know if you are comfortable with your level. I don't know if you are okay the way you are. I want to tell you that you are born to do better. You are born to do better than you are doing. Talk to God, say, Father, every garment covering my glory, every power reducing for my army, you, today let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, say, God, I receive the grace and power of sonship. You are born to rule as a son. You are, you have the power, you are, you have the privilege to enjoy what God has made. The Bible says, is it money? He said that the silver and gold on top of the thousands of his is his. Is the God that gives power to make way. I want you to talk to God. That money is not bigger than you. You are, you are born to take dominion over your finance. You are born to take dominion over your marriage. You are born to take dominion over everything. You are not born to live at anybody's mercy. You are not born to live at anything mercy. You are not born to sigh. You are not born to lose. You are born to win. Talk to God. Say, Father, give me the grace. The grace to rule. The grace of sonship. Make me, I am your son. I am your own. 
take me and lift me. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. Say, God, may I be honored as a king. I don't know. God said in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 that he has made you a choosing generation. A peculiar person. I don't know. People might have been rejecting you. I don't know the place that you have been before now and you have been rejected. I want you to know that you have all more than what it takes to do better. I want you to know that you have what it takes to achieve more. Begin to talk to God. Say, Father, give me anything that have reduced me. May I be honored as a king. May I be honored as a queen. May I be honored as a child of God. I am not to borrow. I am to lay to nation. Anywhere I enter, wherever you have entered before, and you could not succeed. I want you to know that you are going back now. The Lord cannot say a thing and it will not come to pass. The Lord is God and his name reigneth and live forever. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God concerning that situation. Begin to talk to him concerning that situation. Say, God, let me be honored in my working place. Let me be honored. In my business place, may I be honored. In any way I find myself, may I be honored and be treated as a king. And may I be honored and be treated as a king. You are a king, you are a choosing person generation. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 1 that God make man and take him to have dominion. I don't know that situation that is challenging you. I want to tell you that God has given you all that you need to take dominion. Begin to take dominion. Begin to take charge over that business. Begin to take charge over that family. Begin to take charge over that sickness. Begin to take charge. God has made you in his image and has given you power to, to to rule. He has given you power to rule. Say, oh God, my father, I refuse to be barren. I shall be fruitful. I don't know the kind of barrenness you are passing through. I don't know the kind of things that is challenging your faith. That Jesus Christ was not barren. He was, he was fruitful in all ramification. He was he did exploit in all ramification. There is nothing that died in his hand. You are not expected to to lose anything. You are not expected for, for something to die in your heart. Begin to talk to God. Say, Father, I refuse to be barren. If every barrenness in your business, every barrenness in your marriage, every barrenness in your working places, have you been there for years? I have refused to promote you because you don't know whom you are in Jesus Christ. And I want you to know this morning that I are a choosing generation. You are special, a peculiar person. Begin to talk to God. Say, God, and them. God is capable to deliver you. God is capable to lift you from that body. God is capable to see you through. Begin to talk to God. Begin to talk to God. I want us to take these songs as we continue. Remember me, oh Lord. Remember me in your kingdom. Remember me, oh Lord. Remember me in your kingdom. May God remember you in the name of Jesus. May God remember you for good in the name of Jesus. Whatever you will lay your hands to do, you shall prosper. Go forth and take charge. Go forth and rule. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you. And God bless you. See you next time. Call us for the week. Trinity 4 Almighty God, you show to those who are in error the light of your truth, that they may return to the way of righteousness. May we and all who have been admitted into the fellowship of faith in Christ reject those things which are contrary to our profession and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.